What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Everyday with Wood. Today, I'm going to be barbecuing um, turkey legs. Turkey wings. Turkey wings. Yeah, turkey wings. See, I don't even must... <laughs> I, <don't... laughs> I don't know what to say. All right, um, so I know y'all can't stand when I be on Daddy's channel talking, but anywho, today Wood is going to be making some barbecue turkey wings. It was something I was craving, and he had never made barbecue turkey wings before, so this is what the turkey wings look like. They already been cleaned. He seasoned them with some garlic salt, pepper, abaro, large seasoned salt, some liquid smoke, and here we go. The first thing he's going to put is his seasoning salt. You better season to the end, so take the stop. <laughs> Why you ain't saying that? I ain't saying that. Daddy know. got a quiet channel anyways. Y'all say I talk too much over here. I be like, tell Peach to be quiet. Um, This is some black pepper. You can use any kind of black pepper you like. This is McCormick's black pepper, which is one of my personal favorites. But you like that kind of black pepper, you don't have a preference. Yeah. And then garlic salt. Daddy loves the smell of garlic salt. Anytime this man cooking, he want to use some garlic salt. You don't smell that. You do smell the garlic salt. That's why you like it. So why you like garlic salt? If that's not the reason. What's the reason? <laughs> you the one that's showing them how you cook. And then this is liquid smoke. If you ever want to um, barbecue something, really have that barbecue smell, make the neighborhood smell like, oh, it's going down at your house. Use you some liquid smoke. My daddy taught us that, and that's something we use. Next thing um, Wood is doing is adding some Zazon by Goya. All right, this is what the meat is looking like. Now he's adding some yellow mustard. Oh, you showed out this day, huh? Mm -hmm. Who you thought you was, Wood? The meat to keep that seasoning on there, keep it juicy. He said keep it juicy. So that's how you keep the meat juicy, a little mustard. Mm -hmm. Should I put some mustard on myself? <laughs> you know, this weird because he don't like mustard, y'all, but he like to season his food with mustard. I think it's a southern thing. Like maybe it's a Florida thing. But um when you barbecue with mustard or fry food with mustard, it just tastes way more flavorful. Now this is another pack of Goya Zazon. I love daddy hands. Like when I look at the veins in his hands, it's just like, ugh. What a man, what a man, what a man, what a mighty good man. All right, so this is Goya Zazenator Complete Total. Uh, would say he like to use Zazenator Complete Total. I like to use Badia Complete. I had no idea that was his preference, so that's good to know. Now he is putting them on the grill. Babe, I thought you was going to voice over with me. I didn't know I was going to have to voice over the whole video. I'm just watching you. But it's your video, not my video. You told me you are going to do it. That's why I never Because <laughs> sure. I could have talked myself that day. Okay. But you don't like doing voiceovers? You don't feel comfortable? Mm -hmm, like. All right. So he just placing the meat on the grill. Not the meat. You like turkey wings. What's your favorite kind of meat? I eat Out of all the meats in the world, what's your favorite? Mm. My favorite meat is steak. And then I like lobster. Well, lobster is my favorite. Is lobster considered a meat? Or is it not? Because it's seafood. What's your favorite meat? Comment down below. I don't know what he call y'all folks. What you call your folks? Every day. <laughs> Every day. <No. laughs> what? You at... Over 10,000 subscribers. You about to hit 11,000 subscribers and you still ain't got no name for the subbies. All right. Uh, Wood Gang, whatever y'all name is. This is what the turkey wings is looking like. Don't that look good? Get in there. He said that's that mustard. That mustard got them turkey wings looking all juicy. Have you ever had barbecue turkey wings? And if so, what's your favorite kind of sauce to put on? Yeah, barbecue turkey wings. Turkey this is my first time eating barbecue turkey wings. Turkey legs. But people don't normally barbecue turkey wings. They only mm -hmm. barbecue turkey legs. You ain't never had barbecue turkey wings until this day. How you gonna act like like that's just normal? Now you just wanna act like, oh, that ain't nothing. Everybody barbecue. Everybody barbecue little turkey turkey wings because they barbecue turkey legs. No, they don't. 
I ain't, my mom ain't nothing than barbecue turkey wings. You know what? Next birthday party we had, that's what we're going to have, barbecue turkey wings. Because ain't nobody finna be feeding everybody no ribs and no uh chicken wings. Can't nobody afford that. Meat is high. Shoot, we can't even find chicken wings. Since the pandemic, it's like it's been harder and harder to find chicken wings. And when you run up on chicken wings, you got to take them all. Now daddy just putting some hot dogs on the grill for the kids as well as some Uncle John sausages. We from Florida. And we love Uncle John. Uncle John is based in Tampa, which is where we're from. There was recently a debate on Facebook amongst the tampons. That's what they call people from Tampa. Tampons. In regards to what kind of breakfast sausage is the best. Somebody going to say, only people who grew up in the projects and on food stamps like Uncle John sausages. I was so offended. I'm like, okay, I did grow up. And the projects and on food stamps, but Uncle John sausages is the bomb. Okay, gonna continue to buy them with or without the stamps. They said somebody gonna say Hillshore Farms. Them little Hillshore Farm sausages. Mm -hmm, the ones you not Jimmy Dean. Jimmy Dean no, right. Jimmy Dean is slamming y'all. Okay, so right here I'm making some rice. Um, when we make rice, I like to put some chicken cubes or some veggie cubes in the rice. Then you know you put your water. I made a very very small pot. A rice to go with this. We probably had some other side as well that we didn't record. Um, this is what the Uncle John's are looking like and the hot dogs looking like. I love me a good burnt hot dog. How I have this video? Huh? They deleted half of this video. Oh, the kids. More, there's more stuff on that. So, Wood said the kids deleted half of the video, so that's why um, we don't see the sides and all that. But I know we made some rice to go with it. Dang, you mm -hmm. done dropped the whole the yeah, whole Michael what was that? The whole sausage. Oh, hot dog. It's all right. But how you don't burn your hot dogs? You remember I tried to barbecue the hot dogs and I burnt them? Yeah, the fluff them, man. That get cooked fast. That wind be blowing about you, though. I think barbecuing is so hard. Like, you got to sit down and watch the food. I ain't got time for that. They were good on that bread. They was. That Sarah Lee bread, y'all. Them hot dog buns by Sarah Lee. So y'all got to get them. Right. Super soft. We bought them for the... Did we buy them for the fourth? I forgot why we bought them, but it was so good. All right, so this is what the turkey wings looking like. I had the bright idea to be like, ooh, babe, let's add some barbecue sauce. He was like, you add it yourself. So this is me adding the barbecue sauce. I whipped it up, child. I put some honey in there, some brown sugar up in there. I made it real, real sweet, sweet like peach. And then we just added it on top. It was good without the barbecue sauce and with the barbecue sauce. And it was juicy. Like, it wasn't burnt. It was super juicy. I think I want this again. I think we should make this, like, this week. I'm supposed to put it on one side. Well, I didn't know, babe. I don't really know how to barbecue. Now you tell me after, after we all done. Anyways, that's, like, the end of this video. I know it's, like, the most ghetto voiceover ever. <laughs> babe, you want to go ahead and close it out? If y'all like this video, make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, and comment down below. Um, tell me how I did. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye, y'all.